Hello everyone, welcome back to another transfer video. Uh, in today's video we're doing a transfer which you probably won't believe uh, is very likely. Although, labelled on the article, it is very likely. Um, so, it's a little bit of a tongue twister there to start the video off with. The title of the uh, article is Le City I, Belgian International, as Fox is very likely to pursue transfer. So, uh, a theme in the Leicester squad actually is Belgian nationals. Uh, obviously, with the likes of Dennis Pratt, uh, Yuri Tillemans... And Castagne all uh, come into the mind when thinking of Belgian nationals for the Foxes. Uh, the Belgian international will play alongside Yori Tillemans, Timothy Castagne and Dennis Pratt during the delayed Euro 2020 finals like I just mentioned a second ago. Leicester City are very likely to show interest in Borussia Dortmund winger Torgan Hazard in the summer. Should they qualify for the Champions League according to reports? So again, uh, the, linking back to the Champions League, I think that will probably be a major... Uh, talking point for players to, to come to Leicester if you do qualify for that it's becoming a bit of a must now to attract big names to the Champions League although a bit of a surprise move was obviously James Rodriguez going to Everton because you'd think he'd probably be wanting to do the same and, and play for Champions League football but obviously I think Carlo Ancelotti was a major factor in that um, City are likely to be on the lookout for a winger during the summer like we've made countless of news videos already uh, for you hunting for a winger with the club deciding against making Sengi's under move from Roma permanent at the end of his loan deal, which again I've already mentioned. The Foxes have already been linked with the World Cup winner Florian Torvin and could revive their interest in Barcelona starlet Francisco Trincao. When the windows open, as they search for more creativity to help strikers Jamie Vardy and Kelechi and Nacho. City have also previously been linked with Torgan Hazard, brother of former Chelsea man Eden, which I'm guessing all of you guys know, in previous years. Although a move to Borussia Dortmund from Borussia Mönchengladbach back in the summer of 2019 seemed to put an end to any of a talk of a move to the King Power. However, according to Eurosport, City are ready to make their move for the Belgian international should they qualify for the Champions League. The reports came that there has been no contact at this stage, but City are very likely to pursue the player should they be able to offer Champions League football. Hazard has missed a portion of this season for Dortmund due to injury, but has still scored three goals and provided a further four assists in 19 appearances in all competitions so far for the campaign. After scoring seven times and providing 13 assists in Bundesliga last season. So, um, OK, reading that uh, now has kind of rang a bell. Uh, injuries, he seems a little bit injury prone. And I think the Hazards alike have actually suffered uh, a lot with injuries. Um, both of them kind of stinting their career, especially Eden Hazard at Real Madrid. So to bring a player in that you know is known to be injured quite a lot is a little bit of a downfall. Um, and I've, I'm guessing a lot of you now will probably be changing your mind a little bit. Um, City are those said to be eyeing a possible big investment in order to show Belgian teammate Yori Tillemans the ambition of the club as they look to offer the influential midfielder a new contract at the King Power Stadium in order to stave off any interest in the 23-year-old. Um, so, yeah, to me, that it seems like, weirdly enough, it seems like um, they're going for Belgian nationals to keep Yori at the, the club. Um, so, yeah, they're doing it. Are they doing a bit too much to impress Yori Tillemans or is he that much in, like, of an importance to your team? Um, let me down below because... Let me know down below, sorry, because... Um, I don't know, spending a load of money just to impress one player seems like a little bit too much. I mean, don't get me wrong, Hazard, Torgan Hazard is a very good player. And I think he, he'd probably do really well at your team if he manages to stay away from the injuries. But um, I, I don't know, I mean, pay, paying a lot of money for, for a player just to impress Yori is, is slightly a little bit strange. The two are likely to play together alongside fellow City players, Timothy Castagne and Dennis Pratt, as they represent their countries in the summer's delayed Euro 2020 final. Um, and some of the comments say, links before, nothing happened. LCFC do not do their business in the gossip columns on the public eye. Um, so obviously that's someone saying that it's probably not going to happen. Hazard is far from being a top player though. He is a good player. During his days at Mush and Gladbach, he frustrated fans with his inability to hit the target. He is in a frustrating situation as Dortmund is losing its league games regularly and far from certain to get an ECL spot next season. 
Um, these are all comments on the article uh, to give you a view on what Leicester fans think. If true, would be a good signing, but it would take with a pinch of salt. Not another one. At this rate, we'll have 30 substitutes. Um, so yeah, you are being linked with a, a lot of lot of transfers. Um, which again, it's not really a bad thing because you've really struggled with squad depths this season. Um, obviously, I'm going to keep get telling you about the transfers, whether they're they're 100 percent real or not. It's you know it's, it's that's another thing. But these are all rumours, and this is obviously uh, titled as very likely. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. Would would you be interested in in taking Torgan Hazard at Leicester City? I think he'd do really well if he could stay away from injuries. He's a definitely a good player, and obviously that link up player with Yori Tillemans, Castagne, and Dennis Pratt, you know, that might be something quite interesting as well. Um, you're almost doing a, a little bit of a Wolves, aren't you, and uh, turning your team into a national team. Uh, soon you'll be bringing in um, the rest of the Belgian nationals and, and whatever. But yeah, that's that's it for now. Um, obviously, Leicester are playing West Ham today. Um, this will probably go out either before or after, so um, I'm guessing you'll know the results and. And uh, obviously, depending on the result, going into this video, your mood will be different. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll keep you in the loop as always. Um, all the transfers for Leicester City, I'm, I'm going to try and cover if I can. Um, but yeah, this was the most recent one. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, and obviously, enjoy what I'm doing, to be honest with you, with, with this uh, kind of you know daily transfer updates I'm doing. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. See you in a bit. Quick.